Paul Hawker, oh, third place, 805. Uh, how do you feel about the result? You know, I think maybe you can tell from my expression, but not what I came here to do. I think I think that was faster than the previous American record still. Um, and that's just where we're at in the sport, and especially in America. And, um, yeah, the goal coming in was to win that race, and I thought it was going to take a low eight minutes um, like it did. Um, so I'm happy to come away with, I think it might be my first two mile ever, but I look at it as a big PR um, regardless. And um, I think I'll need some time to kind of reflect and then see where I'm at, you know, heading forward. But more or less, I'm in third place here at Milrose and a world record race. I, I can't be too upset with that. How, how do you kind of process the tactics through the race and what's kind of going through your mind? It was just, you know, tuck in there. I think I found myself in a really good spot. And then, you know, some of the guys that got in front of me didn't really want to run as hard as I wanted to run. Um, so I think that kind of showed pretty quick. And I think, you know, easier said than done, but I was just running by myself there for a lot of the race. They weren't making up, they weren't opening the gap really anymore um, until kind of like the last 400, I feel like. And, um, you know, Beamish kind of, you know, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally helped me um, a little bit. It was always good, me and him going back and forth. But yeah, I was happy with uh, when I decided to go around people. I think in the past I'd be a little timid to do that, um, especially in two mile race, which maybe is just a hair outside of my my favorite event, the 15 of the mile. But you know, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I did today. Did you know they were coming back to you at any point? Did you always stay in that fifth place, sixth place? Yeah. Um, I didn't think they were coming back. No, not at all. Um, that's kind of why I knew I had to go around these guys because, uh, yeah, they weren't coming back. I know Josh doesn't just say a time and just to, you know, blow smoke. And, you know, Grant's not going to go with anything that he's not comfortable going with. So uh, I knew that the work had to be done on my end and came up a little bit short there. Can you walk me through those last couple laps? Normally when Jody Beamish is moving the last couple laps, people, you know, they, he just blows by. You just not let him do. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, that probably helped me out. Probably I was just telling myself, you know, four more laps, three more laps, two more laps, and then, you know, because I looked back with three laps to go and I saw there was a gap between me and whoever was behind me. So I was like, I'm going to have to do this on my own. And then he came blowing by. Um, and then I just kind of, yeah, didn't want to let him keep going. Cause, yeah, it seemed like he was trying to break me there, and I didn't, I didn't want that to happen. Obviously. Does that count as payback for a Melrose two years ago? Can't go too much about it when that, neither of us came out on top today, but I can't say I, I wasn't uh, high enough 400 to go. Have you approached this part of the season the same way as in previous years, or has it been any more endurance focus given you uh, you, know, you were surrounding the same country? Yeah, yeah. I think this year's maybe the schedule just happened to be a little bit different. You know, we're going straight from here to Albuquerque. Um, and I think that kind of allowed us, you know, this later start. I guess it wasn't really later on the calendar, but later with you don't have to sustain it through a super long indoor season. So, um, yeah, I think I've, I've built a lot of strength. Like you saw, you know, people were in that cross-country race. I'm going to be really curious to see what he does today. Yeah. Are you guys mostly working out together, or how's the training setting? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Me and Cooper are doing everything together, um, and we've got like another group of, you know, three guys around us, three, three to five guys around us in Blacksburg, Virginia. So who else is in that group? Aiden Tucker, Matt Wisner, um, and then we have some VT guys um, right now, um, like Ben Nagel and uh, then Yassine. Uh, from Gonzaga, but yeah, there's a couple of guys that float around, but that's yeah, the, the group's good. I don't think you've done a lot of altitude training, right? So, how do you feel about USA's being at altitude next week? Yeah, I think somehow I haven't raced there yet. I went there for NCAAs and got canceled. Then I went last year and it got oh, I, I got my Achilles uh, issue kind of started to happen. So, no, I think. I like kind of, you know, I don't have any doubts going in and, you know, how my coach prepares me for things. So I think, you know, getting there when we are uh, Monday is, is going to set us up best for what to do. And, um, yeah, I'm confident. For sure. But you, you've never raced in any sort of altitude? Uh, not that I can remember, no. And have you done any sort of altitude training since the altitude? We haven't done uh, altitude training, but uh, we have some other ways that we've kind of, you know, worked it into our program, whether it be heat training or... 
or whatever, but yeah. Is there anything else specific, like altitude tents or anything like that? Nothing really too specific like that, but um, like I said, I'm confident where Ben Thomas houses right now. Yeah. All right, thank you.